Hi, in this video I will be showing how to import multiple multiple choice questions into our question bank. So as you see that we don't have any question yet. So when I browse to the help section of the testing my exam software website, I scroll down and I click on question bank and on the left menu you, you will see import questions and here we provide uh, how the importing works basically and here are some templates that will make our job way easier um, I assume that you already know how the question bank works so that you know the importance of adding uh, some tags to our questions so that we can find them back very easily when we are creating our test. So we have some options to import um, questions and those options are, are here. So for instance the first template uh, helps you to import questions having three options each and one tag only. The second template is for multiple choice questions having three options and two tags. Um, let's try the, the second one but all of them are very much uh, are very similar so if you can do uh, successfully in one you can easily use any other. So I click and uh, I open the template. In the first sheet of the template I will see some instructions so you can uh, actually you you should read the instructions so that you can follow them. Um, but I will I will be um, executing the, the, the steps. Uh, right now okay we are opening the Excel file that we have just uh, downloaded from from our website okay now I will see two sheets Okay. In the first sheet, um, I will, as I said, there are some instructions, and the only the only uh, cells that I have to update here are the common settings, because these settings will be applied to all questions that we import by using this template. So, uh, do we want to shuffle the order? of the options for each question this is uh, this is where I am setting this option like if I say true uh, all the options uh, will be randomly uh, ordered for each user having a test and the second option is do you want to display the options in in a vertical view or in a, a horizontal view so if you want to uh, list the options in in in, ver in horizontal view you should pick the row option or you should uh, pick the column option so when we made those settings we can move to the second um, sheet here we r here we for every question there are some texts and there are some options because this template is for questions having only three options there is one question tanks and then uh, three options and one option one of the options uh, is marked as uh, fully correct we express it by writing 100 and this is the first tag name and this is the value 
of the first tag so this question will be tagged uh, by subject being arithmetic and also this is the second tag the level will be beginner and the default point for this question will be one okay so let's change the second question text okay what is one two plus two so now um, it is the correct option is this one and let's add let's also change that so let's make it three three plus two and let's change this option for instance like this okay and now also I will put the last option to be correct okay so let's say that uh, all our questions will be tagged with subject being arithmetic all of them but let's say that this this question is uh, intermediate level okay when we are done with updating the question content let me a little bit make it smaller this one also so that you can you can see this part easily okay so what you should do is that you will only copy the cells in orange so for the to, to, for to import the first question I will only copy here if I want to import the second question also I will copy up to here if I want to copy the, the third question also I will copy up to here so you can fill in all the template each template uh, can have at most uh, 50 questions uh, and then you can copy uh, the, the, the orange cells okay let's copy that and also you should not copy a separator if there isn't any other question okay so I copied this text and I will go to the exam software question bank and I will click on import questions and now here I have two options selecting a file or import question by pasting plain text this is what I will choose and I write here okay so this is the text that will help the system figure out the, the settings for each question so here is we this is the preview uh, screen so the system tells me that there is a there is one question added here the second and the third okay I am checking if the tags are correct uh, if you remember correctly the we only updated the level of the third question uh, as intermediate so it works okay let's save that when I start to save you will see that a, a counter is um, on the right uh, on the right and now the the import has successfully been executed and we are in our question bank so as you see that there is now a new folder with the name mat which is actually what we have written here so the questions have been put under the mat folder and there are two two tags that have been created and those tags are tag 1 and tag 2 as you remember there are subject and levels and when I check there is level and subject so if I click on arithmetic I will uh, the system will list me all the questions that I have uh, imported so I think we have successfully uh, imported all the questions uh, you can use other templates also and I will recommend you to uh, to to import a few questions first only a few so that if you figure if you understand fully you can you can import more of questions and and when you import a few questions you will have a better understanding of what is going on I hope that helps. Thank you very much.